Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Customer States What, we're going to be going through how does a fuel level sensor work between the float, the variable resistor, and what type of action goes on from here all the way to your fuel gauge. You guys know what comes next. Let's get into this. All right, guys, here we have our multimeter hooked up. We have it set to ohms. We're going to be measuring resistance. Now, this guy right here, that right there is a variable resistor. It's going to measure different resistance from all the way down here to all the way up there. So when we're all the way down here, that's pretty much a empty fuel tank. So when you start to fill, the float goes up and it changes the resistance, as you can see. So the more resistance equals, well, an empty fuel tank. Less resistance, well, what do you think? It's the exact opposite. It's a full fuel tank. Right about there is about half. And as you can see, our resistance value changes the entire time. Now, it's only a two-wire system, as you can see there. You got black wire, red wire. One goes to the bottom of the variable resistor. The other one goes to the top. Or actually, one there, one there. And it's going to measure between the two. And depending on where this is, depending on where the float is, the value is most definitely going to change. And if you guys are wondering where this one came from, well, it's probably at one of those RAT, RAV4s that uh, we had some wiring repair to do. So, we'll disconnect that. And that's how a fuel level gauge works, guys. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments. And until then, please, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.